In this video tutorial, I want to show you how you can use Polar Array to produce a parametric pattern, something like this. And we will define some parameters so we can change the pattern or deform the pattern as we wish or uh, we need. Uh, so this is basically a simple tutorial about um, uh, Polar Array and how you can use it to define a parametric pattern. Uh, you can find the Polar Array tool by double clicking on the canvas and searching for Array and here it goes, the Polar Array tool. You can also find it in the Transform section and into the Array section and Polar Array. So let's get started. First of all, uh, I'm going to use Bifocals to show you the tools and what's the, what the name is. So uh, let's go to the curve and into the primitive section and use the polygon. You can use anything you want or even produce a, a curve maybe, but I'm going to use a polygon here. So the center of this polygon can be a point. I'm going to use a point from the uh, first menu and going to set this to a point and we can define the radius. 20 this is the radius and we can define the segments from 3 to maybe 20 and this will be the segments of this polygon okay and we can change the location by moving the point uh, you can also give it a fillet radius by giving it a number you can see that you can define a fillet radius okay so this is the base polygon we are going to use to array the polar array tool so let's just type polar array you can give this to the geometry the first parameter is the uh, curve or surface or even a solid you want to uh, polar array you can even give a box here so if I just choose a box you can see that we can even polar array a box so basically it's not about using curves you can also use solids if you want a solid section so the second part is the plane of the polar array and the default is the xy plane so we can also change this by giving it a point if you connect a point to a plane uh, it assumes that it's an xy plane so i can also change the location of the center of the plane to have different results okay and the next part is the count of the array so we can define from 4 to maybe 30 and give this just to count and we can define the count of the array and the last thing is the angle the angle of the array so you can right click on it and choose the degrees so I'm going to right click and choose degrees and give it from 0 to 360 degrees okay so you can just define the degree you want this is the start of the pattern we can change the size uh, we can change the polygon segments and we can change the radius the fillet radius as you can see here okay so to produce a pattern maybe 360 degree here we can use these curves to be combined into a one curve uh, pattern we can easily do that by going to the intersect section and using the region union so I'm going to go to this and choose the region union and turn this off and also turn the polygon off okay so you can see that we can change the number we can change the degree uh, we can change the size, we can change the segments, and we can also change the radius. And what we can do here is also change the uh, polygons, uh, basically the direction we are defining it. Because when we just connect a point to a plane, we are saying we want an XY plane for the 
uh, polygon. And we can also change the polar plane, uh, the uh, plane for the polar array. So you can see here, you can also change this to have better results. Okay. Uh, if we change the orientation of this plane, we can also have better results. So I'm going to uh, use something like ROT, rotate, and going for the rotate plane, I'm going to change the plane orientation. So I'm going to the rotate plane. If I give the point to the plane, it assumes that it's an XY plane, and right click on the angle, degrees, a 0 to 180 degrees maybe and give this to the plane. So you can also rotate the uh, polygon and have uh, different results. Okay. We can change the location of the polar array and we can also have this increase the number and here we go. So this is basically the rule of this pattern. You can see easily I can change the numbers have different patterns, have a fillet radius, and also have this angle, okay. So uh, you can see that the geometry is the pattern you want to array, the plane is the location of that plane, and we can change that. We can change the degree to have better results, and the count, which we will just change the count. Uh, you can also uh, have a close one, and let's just close this to 360 degrees and let's just change the number the pattern okay we can also have this uh, two closed planar curves as you can see here and maybe just offset them have an offset and make it more like a pattern thing you can also change the polygon and give it a defined curve. So maybe we want this for the starting pattern. And let's just change this curve and set this curve to the patterns. And if we just change the location, you can see that we will have better results. If we change the points, can just change this if I go here and this is the best and the easiest way you can just define a pattern by just defining uh, maybe two curves you can also combine this let me just delete this part and copy this okay we don't need the offset curve so I'm going to define another pattern maybe this and give this to the pattern and combine this uh, two patterns. So we're going to give another union here, this curve from this curve and turn this off. And you can see that we will have different patterns based on the number we will give this, the degree. Okay, let's just put that to 360 degrees. The numbers, we can have uh, 18 to this too and change the location or maybe just use the same as the first pattern so you can see that you you will have two patterns combining here it's uh, going to be uh, more complicated you can produce more patterns uh, and you can also stick to the one pattern and work on the control points and as you can see we will have many many patterns at the end you can just go to the surface and use the boundary surface to produce the surface here okay and you can bake that and have the surface so this is basically what we are producing okay let's just go to the shaded one and uh, you can change this. It's really amazing if, uh, about the pattern. It's just a simple array, but because you are combining the curves, you will have amazing results. Okay, so I can change this. I can change the degrees. And I can also have these points.
and you can use it for jewelry you can use it for uh, defining anything so this is a simple tutorial about polar array and how you can use it you can also go for a, a solid thing so maybe I can just go let me just cap this and instead of a curve we go for a solid and at the end you can combine those uh, with the intersection and the solid union so it's basically a region union or a solid union and you can use that to produce the solid okay let's just bake this and we will have that so this is the basic tutorial about poor array we will talk about arrays more in the grasshopper tutorials and thank you for watching. If you have any qu uh, questions, if you have any comments, feel free to put it underneath this video and subscribe to the channel so you, uh, you get informed about new video tutorials. We will try to record uh, two or three uh, videos, small video tutorials like this on the grasshopper commands section so you can understand more and more about grasshopper and grasshopper commands. And you can also check out our grasshopper tutorial in our website so you can uh, have a, a, a nice and a neat way to understand Grasshopper with more techniques and uh, a more understanding of the parametric uh, world or the parametric design techniques. Thank you for watching.